This section is to track YouTube video playback with Adobe Launch. This section uses YouTube playback extensions. I am using V1.2.0 version. If our page in this section is this one, I put a YouTube video in it. Now we need to track the behavior of YouTube playback pause. And also need to obtain the paused events and video information. Let's see how to track. The first is extensions. Search for YouTube playback in the catalog. And then click install. No configuration is required here. Just need to install. That's it. Then save and exit. Then go to set the rules. We need to set up two rules. One function is to enable YouTube video tracking. One function is to use video playback behavior to track. I have set it up here. You can see that there are two rules. Now we look at the settings of the first rules. You can create a rules and name it Start YouTube Tracking. Then click Event. Event type is Window Loaded. Triggered when the window has been loaded. Then click Action. Extension Select YouTube Playback. Select Enable Video Playback Tracking for Action Type. Which means to turn on video tracking. There are also places to be set on the right. Any player is to track all videos. Specific players are tracking the specified video. We choose any player here. Then save. This is the configuration of the first rules. Next. Set the second rules. Create the first rules and name it YouTube Pause. Click Event. Extensions select YouTube Playback. Select Video Paused for Event Type. There are many options in Event Type. And these are all types of tracking. If you want to do other types of tracking, select the corresponding type here. There will also be some other information on the right, which is more information we can get when the event is triggered. For example, this is when we want to get the pause. The video playback address is here. Through the video playback address, we can know which video is being played. The last step is to set variables and send data. Click Action. Extensions select Adobe Analytics. Select Set Variable for Action Type. Then select Event 11 on the right. Set to Pause 11. Then Video URL. This is the video playback address. Then there is the current time. Which is the time when it is suspended. These are the more values that can be obtained when setting the event. The right side of the event type can get this value directly by using 2%. If you want to get more values, you can refer to the information on the right side of event type. Then save. Then create a second action and make the following settings. Then save. The effect of the second rule is as above. The last is the test. Publish this configuration to the test environment. Return to the test page. Open the developer tools of the browser and open the console. Then refresh it. Simulate play and pause operations. Look at the information entered in the console. You can see event 11. This is the event we set. Pause 11. Then there is the video playback address. Then there is the pause time. The unit here is seconds. All to track down.
呃，大家